Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG breed in Pokemon Black or White versions. This won't work in Black or White 2 at all. Uh, if you have Pokemon you want to breed in Black and White 2, you've got to trade them to Black and White 1. It simply won't work. Um, but luckily there's no different egg moves between the games, so the only thing is if you want a Pokemon with certain hidden abilities, you've got to catch them in Black and White 2 and just trade them over to Black and White 1. Not too hard. Um, so I think there's a lot of uses for this. Um, even if there's Pokemon that can't breed in this game, or, or that uh, they have, they don't have moves, like they have exclusive 6th gen moves that they can't get through egg moves or anything like that, you can breed perfect parents in this game and trade them up so you have just an easier time to get the whatever egg moves you need. Um, so uh, aside from the usual tools, you know, the two chat outs with Chatter, um, RNG Reporter, Eon Timer for RNGing, uh, you're not going to need the Sweet Center, and uh, aside from those things, you need uh, tools that help breeding go quicker. So it would help to have a Pokemon with Flame Body or Magma Armor, which increase or decreases the egg time, uh, the egg hatching time. Uh, it would help to have an Everstone, which gives the Pokemon who is a female a 50% chance to have the Everstone nature. Uh, so what that does for RNG is it gives you more spreads to choose from. So if you're going for shiny spreads, it just gives you a better option for finding shiny spreads. Um, the same goes for the Masuda method breeding, which is if you have an international Pokemon breed with a Pokemon from your region, then you have a higher chance of getting a shiny, which again would just increase the number of shiny spreads you can get. Um, so aside from those two things, it's important to know how other breeding mechanics work. Um, egg moves, for example. Only male Pokemon can pass egg moves in this game. Um, uh, so, if you have a male Pokemon, you have to breed it with a female of the species you want to get the egg move. So, if you breed it with a Ditto, the baby will be the same species as the parent, and it will have the egg move. Uh, but if you have a... Um, for example, I have a Clefairy, and the Pokemon that is, comes out of the egg will always be the female. So, I have a female Clefairy and a male Togetic. The male Togetic has the move Wish. The female Clefairy, when the egg hatches, will be a Cleffa and it will have the move Wish. So you gotta know how egg moves work. Uh, hidden abilities can only be passed on through female Pokemon. So certain things like uh, if I have a male Pokemon with a hidden ability, I can't breed and get the hidden ability at all. It won't work. If I have a Pokemon uh, like a Ditto who acts as the female and it has its hidden ability, that won't work either. So I suggest looking up a little breeding guide, uh, learn how breeding works so you can get all your setup done. I also recommend RNGing your parents if you can. Um, because that'll get again make spread finding easier. Uh, if you don't want to RNG both parents, I at least recommend RNGing a ditto. Um, I just think having a perfect six stat ditto is super good. Um, so once you get all that set up out of the way, uh, you're going to want to put both of your parents in the daycare and you're going to want to run around until you get an egg. And once the egg is generated, you just want to save in front of this guy right here. Don't talk to him, don't take the egg or nothing like that. The egg is generated the frame before you receive it from the guy. Uh, so just save in front of him and turn your game off once the egg is generated. Simple as that. Um, and once you have all that setup done and you're saved in front of him, go to RNG Reporter and open up Time Finder and click 5th Generation Time Finder and click the Eggs tab. So once you're in the Eggs tab, uh, you're going to want to type out all the information that pertains to you. Make this a little bigger. Um, so you're going to want to click the months you want, so I always suggest typing every single month out because that gives you the most options, oops, that gives you the most options. Um, the min-max advances is how many chat out chatters you have to listen to in order to uh, get the shininess and nature you want, it's the PID frames. Um, so I always recommend leaving it at 10 because there are two moving NPCs outside of the daycare that mess up the PID RNG. So always keep it at a minimum 10 advances because they will probably advance it around 8 or so just by themselves because before you pull the start menu up. Um, and 45 is fine um, because you have so many ways to control what spread comes out uh, through the parents and natures and all that kind of stuff. But if you can't find the spread you want, just increase it. It's just the number of chat out chatters. Um, I've done as many as 300 chat out chatters. So there's no reason to just only advance that if you need to. Um, check if it's an international parent uh, or a ditto parent. I'm not using either of those, but if you are, check those. Uh, this is for Nidoran slash Volbeat and Illumis breeding. 
Um, I'm not doing that either. So type out your parents' stats. Um, like I said, I always recommend uh, RNGing the parents, which I did. So I have two parents with perfect stats and everything. Um, if you're using an Everstone, uh, click this and pick which uh, nature the Everstone holder is. So I'm not using it, so I'm not going to click it. Um, if you don't know your parents' stats, uh, just don't type them in. Um, you probably won't be able to get six perfect stats if you don't know your parents' stats if you don't have at least one parent with six perfect stats. So I always recommend having a ditto hanging around to help you out with that. Um, aside from that, type the spread that you want. So I want, again, perfect stats and everything but attack. Uh, pick the nature you want. I'm going for bold. Uh, pick which ability you want. So all you have to do is look up online which ability pertains to which Pokemon, uh, if your Pokemon even has two abilities. Um, so I'm going for Dream World ability only, which again, can only be passed through females. Um, and pick the gender if you care. Uh, the gender has to match up to the gender ratio. So let's say I wanted a male Clefairy, um, which is a 25% male, 75% female. I'd click this one, but I don't care. Uh, and I only want shiny. Uh, so from there on, you just want to click generate and you're going to want to wait for the spreads. Um, so I'll meet you once that is generated. Okay, so now that you have your spreads generated, uh, I only got one. Uh, this will tell you all the information about your spread that you need to know to make sure everything's correct. Um, the exclamation points mean it's shiny. Uh, it's the right nature I wanted. Uh, if you cared about the ability, this is what it would be, but uh, I want the Dream World ability. So as long as it says true for Dream ability, that means you're going to get it, and this doesn't matter. If it says false, then figure out which ability it is, make sure you got the right one. Uh, if you wanted, make sure the stats are all correct, if you're happy with that, and the hidden power as well, uh, and the gender. So, uh, other than that, this is the time, so let's go set our DS time. So, I believe my date is already correct, yes. And we're going to set the time, so it's 2301. Uh, I'm not going to set it just yet, because I'm going to go over into the main reporter. So, copy your seed to the clipboard, go to the main screen in RNG reporter, and scroll all the way down to breeding BW. Uh, if you're using international parents, you're going to want to click breeding BW international. Uh, so here, paste your seed. If you're using an Everstone, check the nature. Otherwise, leave that unchecked. Um, and then if your Roamer is released, check that. And if you have a ditto parent, check that. Uh, otherwise, you don't need to check anything else. Um, and hit calculate initial PID RNG frame and then hit generate. So I believe it was 73. Uh, there it is, frame 73. So I want to get the Pokemon on frame 72. That's when I want to hit A. So as I was saying before with the minimum advances, um, the Pokemon that are moving outside of the daycare advance your PID frame. So the starting frame, yes, will be 54. However, the two Pokemon in the daycare that are running around in circles, they advance it every time they take a step. So I'll probably start somewhere around here instead. Uh, so it's a little bit of trial and error. Uh, I personally suggest looking for three distinct pitches in a row. So for example, I have three low pitches in a row. So I advance a few times and I hear three low in a row, I know where I am. Sometimes you're going to get lost and you're not going to figure out where you are and you're just going to have to re, uh, restart your DS and try the clock again. That's just the way it goes. So open up Eon Timer, type in the seconds you need. Uh, I need 30 seconds and hit start at Neon Timer at the same time as you hit A on your DS clock. And reboot your DS. So make sure if you need to hold your buttons down, you get ready to do that and wait for Eon Timer to count you down. So hold your buttons once you hit A, and you only have to hold them until the Game Freak logo pops up. Uh, so when you start the game, do not start the C gear. And here you'll see what I mean. So 
I'm going to try and match X as fast as possible, but you see they moved. So when I go to the chat ops, I can guarantee you I will not be mid-low. So that sounds like a, a mid-high. So it's slightly higher. So that's a low. That's another low. That's a third low. So now I know I'm here. Uh, and then, so I'm just going to advance to the frame before. So I'm going to go to 72. So there we go. I'm the frame before I want to receive my egg. So this is where the, uh, the, the fast mashing really, really matters. So you're going to want to hit B and then mash A as fast as possible so those two Pokemon uh, in the upper right don't move. Uh, they don't move while you're talking to the dude and they don't move when the start menu is paused. So there's a chance you'll miss it. So let's see. So I'm not sure if that counted as a step. Sometimes like the, the tiny twitching steps don't count and won't mess with it. So the only way to know is to uh, run around and hatch your egg. So I think the best way to do this is to go over to Sky Arrow Bridge uh, and then just run up and down. Hmm. I apparently never battled this trainer. Uh, I'll just meet you when my egg is hatched. <laughs> okay, so my egg is hatching and we'll see what happened. Uh, if you got a shiny, you'll pretty much know right away uh, if you were going for a shiny Pokemon. So, my Cleffa's shiny, so I did get the correct Cleffa. Um, but, if it's not shiny, there's a few things you can do to double check to see if you hit the correct seed and the correct PID frame. Um, so my nature's correct, so, of course. And then I'm going to fly to the, uh, the judge who is in Nimbasa in the gear station. So let's assume I got the wrong PID frame, right? Uh, let's say my, my Cleffa was quiet here, right? That means I did stop here, but I didn't, uh, I didn't talk to the guy fast enough, and the two Pokemon outside of the daycare took too many steps and advanced my PID frame one past the one I wanted, right? So you can do two things. You can either redo it and try to mash even faster, or if you do if you do redo it and mash even faster and you still get quiet, what you do is just take into account what happened, right? So that means your mashing is very consistent. So all you have to do is stop at Jolly, and then you'd get the bold one. Uh, if you got a naughty one, and every time you do it, you're getting this naughty one, that means your match, mashing is consistent. So all you have to do is stop a few frames beforehand, right? So, like, normally I'd stop here, but I ended up one, two, three past it. I would just stop one, two, three. I'd stop here, and talking to him advances at one, and then one, two, three. See? It's a very simple solution. Um, I think most people should be able to mash fast enough. You don't got to kill yourself with the mashing. Uh, it's not a big deal. So, I'm talking to the guy. He'll probably tell me all my stats are perfect. So, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll do my best to answer anything. Uh, have a good one, and I'll see you uh, next tutorial.